Hello, this is the Kevin's Bookstore, and today we're gonna read the Magic Trio's Fact Tricker Rainforests. Chapter 4 Rainforest Creatures They creep and crawl, they flit and fly, they growl and howl. The world's rainforests are alive with millions of animals, bugs, and birds. Predators and protection. Most rainforest animals depend on other animals for food. Animals that kill and eat other animals are called called predators. The animals that predator the animals that predators kill are called their prey. Many rainforest creatures have special ways of protecting themselves from predators. Some have colors that help them blend with their net natural surroundings. This kind of protection is called camouflage. Some creatures fool predators by looking at looking like plants. If they stay very still, predators will leave them alone because they won't see them. Some creatures scare predators away away by looking bigger and scarier than they really are. Many ma many moths and butterflies have marks on their wings that look like big eyes. When these creatures open their wings, predators think the eyes belong to a creature that might eat them. Night Creatures The rainforest is just as alive at night as it is during the day. Many creatures come out only after the sun has gone down. They're called nocturnal, nocturnal creatures. Many nocturnal creatures have very large eyes. Their big eyes let, em, let in more light and help them see in the moonlit forest. Bats are common nocturnal tree, creatures. There are hundreds of different kinds of bats in the world's rainforests. Many bats have a strong sense of smell that helps them find fruits and flowers in the dirt dark. Others use sound to find and capture insects and to find their way in the night. At night, rainforest tree rainforest trees twinkle with the fireflies and click beetles. Scientists think insects like these talk to each other with their flashing lights. Water creatures Rivers th run through most of the rainforest of the world. Thousands of different kinds of fish li live, in the, live in these rivers. Snakes, crocodiles, and lizards slither and sleep, sleep on the banks. Army ants Bird-eating tarantula. Queen Alexandra's bird-winged butterfly. Goliath beetle. Red-eyed tree frog. Poison arrow frog. Sloth. Toucan. Jaguar, Pangolin. Chapter 5 People of the Rainforests. Thousands of people live in rainforests around the world. For centuries, they've got it, gotten everything they've needed for, from the plants and animals of the forest. Hunter Gatherers. People of the Rainforest, unusual. People of the rainforest usually live in small groups. Many get their food by hunting wild animals and gathering wild plants to eat. People who live this way are called hunter-gatherers. The Mubuti are called the Mubuti people are hunter-gatherers. They live live deep in the 
a truly rainforest of the Congo region of Africa. The Mobutu hunt with spears and with bows and arrows. They also trap animals in large nets made from vines. They hunt antelopes, forest hogs, buffalo, elephants, monkeys, and other animals. They use the animals, animal meat for food. They make tools and clothes for from other parts of the animals. Almost nothing is wasted. In the past, the Mobutu killed only what they needed for them, for themselves and their families. Today, they also trade, also trade with villagers who live on the edge of the forest. While Mobutu men hunt, women and children gather roots, nuts, fruits, snails, ter- termites, and ants for food. Sometimes they catch fish or crabs. The Mobutu move every few weeks to a new place in the forest, looking for wild animals and plants. The women and ch- children set up the u- new camp. They build hunts. They build huts from branches and large leaves. They can build a whole village of huts in just a few hours. The Mobutu make beautiful paintings on clothes made from bark. Men collect the bark from trees. They soften it with water and pound it with pound it with a hammer. The woman then paint designs on the bark. Bark. Sometimes they paint pictures of forest creatures. Music is also an important part of Mobutu life. The Mobutu play rattles and drums. They sing when they hunt, gather honey, set up a set up a new home, or play games. The Mobutu use art and music as a way to honor the guardian spirit of the forest. The Mobutu believe the forest spirit is like. Like a parent who watches over them, like and protects them. For these reasons, they call themselves children of the forest. Every day, they think thank the forest for all the gifts and gives it gives them. Hunter get gardeners. Some rainforest People get their food by raising crops as well as by hunting and gathering from the forest. People who live this way are sometimes called hunter gardeners. Hunter gardeners cl- clear land for their crops by cutting down trees and burning them. Then they plant seeds in the ashes of burned trees. The ashes make the soil better for growing plants. Hunter gardeners usually grow their crops in the same crops in the same place for only a few years. Then they move their field to on another to on another place, so that the rainforest trees and plants have a chance to grow back. It might be twenty years before they plant it and plant in the same place again. The Yanomami peoples、uh, people are hunter gardeners. They tend small gardeners in the Amazon rainforest. They grow banana, bananas, yams, and sweet potatoes. They also grow plant plantains, which which are like large, tough bananas. They roast the pl- plantains on co- coils or boil them in pots. Besides besides growing their crops. The Yanomami gather nuts, mushrooms, and honey. They also hunt birds and catch frogs and insects to eat. For shelter, the Yanomami build large huts made from trees, tree branches, and palm leaves. They build their huts in a large circle. In the evening, families come together inside the circle and tell stories. The Yanomami especially like to tell stories about jaguars, 
the most feared animals in the forest. For many centuries, the Yanomumi lived as their ancestors had lived. They had very, they had very little contact with people from the outside world. But recently, all that changed. In 1980s, gold wa- gold was discovered along the border between Brazil and Venezuela. This is the area where the Yanomumi have lived for centuries. Thousands of people from outside the forest invaded the Yanomumi lands to mine the gold. The gold miners have upset the Yanomumi life by cutting down trees and building roads. Their noisy, noisy planes, planes and equipments have scared away animals. The miners have also introduced new diseases. Diz- New diseases to the Yanomumi, such as malaria, flu, and measles. Governments of South American country countries are now trying to protect the Yanomumi people and their land. Like the Mubuti, the Yanomumi have lived for many years in peace with the rainforest. They believe that nature creates everything, and that people should love and respect for respect the forest. Rainforest peoples like the Yanomumi and the Mubuti have many things to teach those who live outside the rainforest. They can share their knowledge about which plants are good to eat, which are poisonous, and which are good for medicine. Most important, the people, the peoples of the rainforest, can teach others how to take what it needs, what is needed from the forest without destroying it. Chapter six: Gifts of the rainforest. Rainforests can seem like magical, far away, far away places. But many things we use every day come from rainforests around the world. Think about what you did yesterday. Did you eat a banana or a tomato? Bananas and tomatoes were were first discovered in rainforests. Did you sit on a chair or at a desk? You may have been sitting on the wood of a rainforest tree. Did you ride in a car or bus or on a bicycle? Tires are made of rubber. Rubber was first made from the sap of a tree found in rainforests. Foods from the rainforest. Many food products originally came from rainforests. These foods and spices are all are so familiar to us now that we can hardly imagine a world without them. They include oranges, pineapples, grapefruits, avocados, black pla- black pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, ba- vanilla, coffee, peanuts, cashew nuts, chicle, the stuff that makes chewing gum chewy, and cocoa cocoa beans used to make chocolate. Many of these pr- food products are now grown on large farms, but all were, but all were, but all were first found in rainforest around the ro- world. Rainforest medicine. medicine. Uh, another very important gift of the rainforest is medicine. For thousands of years, rainforest people have treated. Treated sickness with rainforest plants. Now scientists all over the world study the plants of the rainforest to find treatments of for disease. The rosy periwinkle, periwinkle is a flower that grows in rainforests in Africa. It is used in medicines that treat several kinds of can- cancer. Other rainforest plants produce medicines for heart disease, high blood pressure, and stomach problems. Scientists hope they will someday discover cures for AIDS, AIDS, and other terrible diseases in rainforest plants. Global warming. 
The rainforests of the world are important in another way. They help control the Earth's climate. The air around the Earth is called the atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere is filled with different kinds of gases. One of those, one of these gases, is oxygen. Humans and animals need oxygen to breathe. Another kind of gas in the atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide helps the atmosphere hold heat from the sun, but many scientists believe too much carbon dioxide can cause a problem. Can it can make the Earth too hot? Scientists call this problem global warming. Trees and plants need carbon dioxide, and to live and grow, the millions of rainforest trees and plants take huge amounts of carbon carbon dioxide out of the atmos atmosphere. In this way, they help protect our planet and all its creatures from global warming. This might be the rainforest's greatest gift of all. Future gifts. Scientists have studied only only a small number of the plants and animals of the rainforest. There are many valuable things yet to be discovered. Different kinds of fruits, nuts, and other foods from the rainforests might help feed the world's people. New kinds of medicines may be found in rainforest. Plants that haven't been discovered yet. Even new kinds of fuel for homes and cars might be found. As long as rainforests keep growing and thriving, they will be having. They will have endless gifts to give to the world. If you want to read more, find out the Magic Trials Fact Tracker, Kevin's Bookstore.